Giants at Overtis Link TV. Hi kids, my name is Bibi. I'm here today on another episode of Basic Science at Overkids Link TV. Today we are going to discuss an important topic in human life, which is human body anatomy. Follow me as I proceed on the topic outline. Topic outline. Introduction to human body anatomy. Definition of anatomy. Human body and systems. Classification of human body system and brief explanation on each of the divisions. Human vital organs. Some important facts that must be known about human body. Let's start. Human body anatomy. Anatomy. What is anatomy? Anatomy is the study of the structure of human body. It is the branch of science that concerns with the bodily structure of humans, animals, and other living organisms. Human body. The human body is everything that makes up human beings and other living organisms. The basic parts of the human body are the head, neck, torso, arms, and legs. Body systems. Our body consists of a number of biological systems that carry out specific functions necessary for everyday living. The following are the systems containing our bodies. Body systems. 1. Circulatory system. 2. Digestive system. 3. Nervous system. 4. Reproductive system. 5. Muscular system. 6. Skeletal system. 7. Respiratory system. 8. Urinary system. 9. Endocrine system. 10. Immune system. 11. Lymphatic system. and 12. Skin or integumentary system. Here is a brief explanation on each of the systems. 1. The circulatory system. This is to move blood, nutrients, oxygen, carbon dioxide and hormones around the body. It consists of the heart, blood, blood vessels, arteries and veins to the digestive system. It consists of a series of connected organs that together allow the body to break down and absorb food and remove waste. It includes the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. The liver and pancreas also play a role in the digestive system because they produce digestive juices. 3. The nervous system. The nervous system controls both voluntary actions like conscious movement and involuntary actions like breathing and sends signals to different parts of the body. The central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that connect every other part of the body to the central nervous system. For the reproductive system, this allows humans to reproduce. The main reproductive system includes the penis and the testes, which produce sperm. The female reproductive system consists of the vagina, the uterus, and the ovaries, which produce eggs. Five, the muscular system. The muscular
calculus is that consists of about 650 muscles that aid in movement, blood flow, and other bodily function. There are three types of muscles. Skeletal muscle, which is connected to bone and helps with voluntary movement. Smooth muscle, which is found inside organs and helps to move substances through organs. And cardiac muscle, which is found in the heart and helps pump blood. Generally, the body muscular system comprises of the frontalis, the deltoids, the pectoralis, the biceps, the quadriceps, and tibialis anterior. Six, the skeletal system. The skeletal system consists of 206 bones that are connected by tendons, ligaments, and cartilage. The skeleton not only helps us move, but it's also involved in the production of blood cells and the storage of calcium. The teeth are also part of the skeletal system, but they aren't considered bones. Some of the skeletal systems are the skull, the clavicle, the rib, the pelvis, the humerus, the carpals, the femur, and the patella. Break time! Welcome back, Heat 7, the respiratory system. This allows us to take in vital oxygen and expel carbon dioxide in a process we call breathing. It consists of mainly the nose, the trachea, the diaphragm, and the lungs. And the urinary system. The urinary system helps to eliminate a waste product called urea from the body which is produced when certain foods are broken down. The urinary system includes two kidneys, two ureters, the bladder, two spincher muscles and the urethra. Urine produced by the kidneys travels down the ureters to the bladder and exits the body to the urethra. Now the endocrine system. It consists of eight major glands that secrete hormones into the blood. These hormones in turn travel to different tissues and regulate various bodily functions such as metabolism, growth and sexual function. The major glands are pineal gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal glands, pituitary glands, and thyroid gland. Then the immune system. This defends body against bacteria, viruses and other pathogens that may be harmful. It includes lymph nodes, the spleen, bone marrow, lymphocytes, the thymus, and leukocytes, which are white blood cells. 11. The lymphatic system. Its main job is to make and move limb, a clear fluid that contains white blood cells, which help the body fight infection. It also removes excess lymph fluid from bodily tissues and returns it to the blood. It includes lymph nodes, lymph ducts, and lymph vessels. 12. The skin or integumentary system. The skin is the body's largest organ. It protects us from the outside world and defends us against bacteria, viruses and other pathogens. Our skin also helps regulate body temperature and eliminate waste through perspiration. In addition to skin, also includes hair and nails. Human vital organs. Humans have five major vital.
vital organs that are very important for survival. These organs are the brain, the heart, the kidneys, the liver, and the lungs. Please, let's proceed on the brief explanation on the functions of human vital organs. One, the brain. The brain is the body's control center, receiving and sending signals to other organs through the nervous system and through secreted hormones. It is responsible for our thoughts, feelings, memory storage, and general perception of the world. Two, the heart. They are responsible for pumping blood throughout our body. Three, the kidney. The kidney is responsible for removing waste and extra fluids from the blood. The kidney takes urea out of the blood and combine it with water and other substances to make urine. Four, the liver. The liver has many functions including detoxifying of harmful chemicals, breakdown of drugs, filtering of blood, secretion of bile and production of blood clotting protein. Five, the lungs. The lungs are responsible for removing oxygen from the air we breathe and transferring it to our blood, where it can be sent to our cells. The lungs also remove carbon dioxide, which we exhale. Kate! It is very important to take note of the following facts about the human body. One, the human body contains nearly 100 trillion cells. Two, there are at least 10 times as many bacteria in the human body as cells. Three, the average adults take over 2,000 breaths a day. For each day, the kidneys process about 50 gallons of blood to filter out about 2 quarts of waste and water. Five, I also treat about 1.42 liters of urine each day. Six, the human brain contains about 100 billion nerve cells. Seven, water makes up more than 50% of the average adult's body weight. Friends, hope you enjoy our topic for today on Basic Science at Omarket Link TV. If you really enjoyed our topic, can you subscribe to our channel Omarket Link TV, YouTube, Facebook and Instagram?